What's the story, Wishbone? The fuck kind of question is that? He's a fucking dog. Listen, you can't actually know somebody. You can never truly be there and be there with somebody. He's a fucking dog. Even less is the case with dogs. What the fuck is wrong with you? Mm. Mm. I love Wishbone. The heartfelt show about the psychic dog was extraordinarily exciting and fun. But something horrible happened to me one day when I was watching the Wishbone TV show. If you haven't watched the show, it was about a daydreaming dog who would go on exciting adventures inside his own head. He was the family dog, a terrier with a heart of terror, I mean gold. All I do, all day, every day, is watch reruns of the program 24-7. <coughs> I email PBS Kids daily demanding they put Wishbone back on the air. As it was, my favorite show. But something really disturbing happened that, quite frankly, creeped me out the last time I sent PBS Kids an angry letter. They responded, Here is your episode. This is from an old season never released. Enjoy. There was a smiley face at the end of the comment, but it had devil horns, and it looked evil. I put the VHS tape in the tape player and pressed play. The intro music played, and what happened next was really strange. Wishbone said, I'm a telekinetic dog. This this was disturbing. While Wishbone spoke in narration, it was never clear that he had telekinesis. I suddenly became frightened, and I... I literally felt a chill travel up my spine. The mother of the household is shown reading a paper with the chilling headline, Night of Horror! Mass Grave Discovered! Five Additional Bodies for the Texas Turkey Bone Murderer! fuck I wanted to shut the tape off them but something kept me compelled I guess I was lonely Wishbone is shown going into the family bedroom and biting the wallet trying to take some money and an ID out with his teeth the mother looked really angry Wishbone what has gotten into you the dog typically imagined a historical setting with the dog fulfilling a historical role as an escape mechanism to get away from this terrifying lack of meaning that we call existence. Bitch. Anyway, what Wishbone said next was disturbing. If I only I could be as small as an atom. Speaking of which... The camera immediately cut to a clip of Wishbone flying a fucking plane about to drop an atomic bomb on Hiroshima. What in God's name? You see him release the atomic bomb and he's standing on it and it falls to the earth and explodes killing thousands. Good fucking lord. The fuck is this? Who the fuck would think to write this? The camera cuts back to the family bedroom and a blood-curdling scream is heard. The mother discovered a dead body under the bed. Is that... the mailman? She starts crying hysterically and calls 911. The police break down the door and start examining the body. Teeth. Teeth marks. The kind a dog has. Sharp canine incisions. On the mailman's neck. The mother is immediately detained in cuffs and taken in for investigations. Wishbone is shown going into the kitchen and eyeing the dog treats up on the shelf. Thank God that fucking bitch is gone. I can enjoy my dog treats! Fuck. Wishbone starts trying to get the dog treats, but he's a fucking dog in case you've forgotten. What? The son Joe Talbot screams. The camera zooms into Wishbone's face and a weird whizzing noise is heard. 
I know you can hear me, Joe. I killed your father years ago. That's why your mother is a weirdo. But there's still time for you. Give me the dog treats before I fuck you up. Joe Talbot screams. The doorbell rings. It's the Child Protective Services. The camera zooms into Wishbone's face. Tell them your mother is fine. She'll be back later. Joe Talbot starts shaking. Confused. Can you blame him? He tells the Child Protective Services he's fine. His mother will be back later. Tell them she's in the bedroom. The camera zooms deeper and deeper into the Russell Terrier's face. He tells her they're in the bedroom. Did you know that in real life the dog who played Wishbone's name was Soccer? Tell her she's in the closet, Wishbone says. He leads her into the closet. Wishbone is shown reaching for a safe and opening it, turning the dial with his paws, even though that's not scientifically possible. The social worker looks confused. Your baseball card collection, Wishbone says. Show her your baseball card collection. Joe screams as he sees Wishbone holding up the loaded gun with his paw. The camera zooms into his head again. Is that Joe DiMaggio? A dog says, and there's a loud woofing noise overlapping. Now, as far as I know, in the entire three-season run of Wishbone, the dog never barked. Apparently, the woman turns her head and Wishbone pulls the trigger with his paw. A loud bang is heard and the social worker falls over dead. Blood was pouring from her head as Joe Talbot starts screaming hysterically. Let's play fetch, Joe! The dog's overlapping voice whispers and the camera zooms into his head again. If you call the police, they're going to think you did it. The dog winks. I just enjoy frisbee, dog treats, humping legs, and chewing on bones. Joe screams, trying to clean the blood off of his fresh sneakers. This reminds me of the time I was a passenger on United Airlines Flight 93. Okay, I... Whatever. Another supposed dream sequence. That's not what I'd call a dream. The camera cut to live footage of George W. Bush reading to school children. What was that in the background? I had to pause the tape to see it. Wishbone? Wishbone was in the background staring, not saying anything. Why the fuck would a dog be at a children's school reading by former President George W. Bush? A, a man in a black suit comes in and whispers something in Bush's ear and the scene cuts back. Now then, Joe, we have more pressing business to attend to. Fuck, they just move on like that scene didn't happen. He points his paw into the kitchen. The dog treats, Wishbone says. Give me the dog treats. He rolls over. Joe is still crying, trailing blood into the kitchen as he unscrews the dog treats. Just then, Wishbone woofs loudly. Is there someone at the window? Get into the time machine! Wishbone screams and climbs in to the dryer. Closes the door with his teeth. It was the police. They wanted to ask a few more questions to Joe, but the officer immediately sees the blood on his shoes and detains him. A few days later, his mother is let go. Unfortunately, Joe had rescrewed the dog treats before he was detained by the police. Joe is now the suspected murderer. His mother, now released and crying, goes into the bedroom as the coroner's ID the body of the social worker. The mother bawling her face in her hands with blood still on the wood floor clutches a picture of her son in a frame. 
Wishbone enters. Oh, fuck. The camera zooms deep, deep into his face. What he says next really bothers me. Alan, you won't believe me, but I'm actually a man whose soul was transported into the body of a dog. I made a deal with the devil just before I died. He would spare me the eternal fire and brimstone of hell if I entered the body of a dog, but I'd be forced to relive horrific events throughout history and painful flashbacks through all eternity. Um, the woman screams. I know who framed your son, Ellen. And I know who killed your husband. I've also been watching you shower naked for years. <sighs> The woman screams. She sounds audibly upset. Wishbone's eyes are bloodshot, and he looks a little disheveled. <sighs> the dog treats, Alan. The camera zooms deep into Wishbone's face as he moves to block the front door. Just give me the dog treats, and I'll... Wishbone whimpers and falls over. Another flashback. It's a man with a dog mask on holding a woman while she screams as he murders her with a screwdriver. Stabbing and mutilating her with the screwdriver? After killing the woman, he dismembers the body and pulls on part of the ribcage to split it. Like... Are you fucking kidding me? Like... A wishbone... I shuddered. I could barely breathe. And in the back, way in the back, behind a bucket, I could see the dog staring. Expressionless. It was Wishbone. He tells the killer through telekinetic speech that the police found the fingerprints. The killer, covered in the blood of his last victim, picks up the noose and hangs himself as the police bang down the door. The camera cuts back to the mother who was screaming bloody murder. The dog tree, Ellen. The woman goes over to the boy's bedroom and finds a baseball bat. Ellen, those aren't dog treats. Wishbone sounds increasingly nervous. You don't want to do the salad. Woof, woof, I'm a dog. The dog rolls over on its belly as the mother picks up the baseball bat and starts brutally bashing and smashing and beating the dog to a bloody fucking pulp. The dog whimpers, crying as you hear the skull crack. The final image is the most disturbing. Wishbone? Wishbone was dead. The contorted body, broken, bleeding, the ribcage exposed, and half the organs hanging out of the dog flesh. The camera stays there for a minute, and then another flashback. It's Christmas morning, and little Joe Talbot has a Christmas gift with a red wrapping bow. He opens it to find a newborn terrier, its tail wagging in the most friendly manner. The family starts drinking hot cocoa, and Wishbone is given a dog treat. The camera immediately cuts to Ellen Talbot, who is in a straitjacket, mumbling to herself about how broken wishbones work as the in-house psychiatrist tries to interrogate her. Woof, 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 woof.